Now, if we want to go ahead and update a record, we can do so uh, and update a specific field and create a new value for this. And we can also update multiple uh, records as well. We don't just have to update a specific record, but again, the where clause comes into this. So let's just take a look at the syntax of updating. So I'm going to say update articles. So we say update articles. So we're updating this specific table. And then what we want to do is choose what we want to set. So we say set and then we choose the column name. So I'm going to say uh, set name equals working with MySQL and things. Now what this is going to do is if I was to run this now, this would update all records and set the name of every single record to working with MySQL and things. Now we don't want to do this. What we want to do is provide a where clause, which we've already seen, and we want to choose a specific record. So we can choose a record by however we want to do it. We can choose it by whatever column we want. It doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm just going to say where ID equals one, because I know that the record with the ID of one uh, is the working with MySQL record, and I want to update the title of this to working with MySQL and things. When I hit enter on this, it says uh, query OK, one row affected. So now let me go ahead and select everything from articles, and you can see that the working with MySQL article has been updated to working with MySQL and things.